Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a video on the calendar application for all of my devices and show how it looks. So uh, I'll do the Q10, at the, actually I'll do it first so you guys can see the comparison. So in the camera, uh, in the calendar application, what we do have here, it's uh, you have the ability from 1 a.m. or 12 midnight, that line at the top right here, straight on until 11 p.m., which represents that line. So what you could do is basically tap on the top here. Uh, and you create whatever you want. So at the top here, what we do have here is help, refresh, manage, and then settings. Uh, ways to manage is basically through your uh, email accounts and stuff like that. And then you could basically stretch your calendar. So you could break it up, break it up some more, or you could like zoom in. Now here, what we do have it's this button right here, which basically means today, and this one basically means all your appointments that you could add or change for the day which is very simple to update and uh, you could basically change the viewing options so you could look at the day the week the month the agenda the people and then search i really like the people application because you could actually search if you have a meeting with uh i don't know the president or something you could just type in his name and it shows up when you have all your meetings so let's look at the month view i really like this feature though so in the month they carried over the same exact identical thing that was seen in all of the devices uh all the blackberry uh os's so when you pull to the right you go to the next day or the next month depending on what you're looking at and if you pull down you basically have an option that looks like this I don't re I'm, I really like this option because it gives you the option to actually see how the months after looks and then if you pull down uh, some more like to the right you pull to the right you actually see the months before and if you pull to the left you see all the months after that four month period and if you go down you could actually see uh, the, the various uh, t the months and stuff like that so let's look at this on the OS 6 basically so we go to the calendar button and basically here what we do have here is from zero all the way down and you can't really zoom in or zoom out and then you could move to the right to see and then you could move to the left with a the trackball then what we do have here is you could go to or view by week, month, agenda. So let's look by month. So what we do have here, you could pull to the right, you can see everything for the month, and you could pull to the left, and you can see everything there. And if we go up, it basically moves us faster if we move down, versus where you had the four month calendar that we saw in really small, minute, uh, itty bitty pieces. So now let's look at it on a playbook. Let's do all the BlackBerry stuff. So on the playbook, it looks like this. You have the ability to quickly manage. So you could look at the day right here. Oh, so it automatically shows you the date. And then you have basically the month view, the week view, which is a really nice layout on a big screen. And then you have the day view, which looks like this. I really like the playbook calendar. So let's look at the day view. So in the day view, Apparently someone's place. Oh, we got some fire trucks and stuff like that going on. Nice. You can't really zoom in or zoom out. However, you could click. There's a 30 minute interval. I'm not sure. There's a line between it that actually shows a 30 minute interval. And then you could go by agenda, which is basically my agenda is free, which I'm wrong. And then you could go by people. And then you could see all the people on this day. So that's basically it for the playbook very simple very standard very basic and I really like it and then you always have this button right here which you can quickly add uh, tasks to your day so now let's look at the Nexus 4 or Android how the setup is on that so I'll have to look for the application so let's look for the calendar it's right here we click on the calendar and this is how it looks you could basically uh, you can't crunch it, but you could expand it, and you could expand it really a lot. But you only could go by the hour. Versus, in this guy, the the Z, the Q10, you had the ability to look at that. So let's look at other viewing options that we have here. So we could look at the day, 
then we can look, we really can't, well, you could tap here and you could look at the top right here, you could look at the day, the week, the month, the agenda, which is almost identical between all of these devices right here. And then we have new event, refresh, search, calendar, set, calendars to display, send feedback, settings, help. So it's very basic and minimalistic on the Nexus 4, which is good. It's, however, I'd say you really can't do what I'm showing you with Let's look at the browsing option on the Z10. You really can't move left and, well, you can scroll up and down to see months, but you really can't move left and right as you would actually want to see. So you can go up and down, and if you want, you can't even get like a four month period right, versus in this guy, you just basically move to the left, you get June, July, which is seems a bit like normal for me to actually move left and right if I wanted to see up like scroll down if I pull from top to bottom then you have the four month view and then you can see what's going on in March and stuff like that so that's the calendar application uh, I'll just do a quick entry of uh, let's say turns well let's look at the month let's go to May let's say the 13th at 10 a.m. let's say and let's type so we just go, we double tap, and then you get the option. So we go uh, blood test. Look. And then we could put a location if you want. You could actually uh, use the GPS navigation, and then you could put University of Ottawa, Jewish Community uh, Center. Uh, I don't know why the Jewish Community Center is up there, but quite good for it. <laughs> and you could have the recurrence and you can invite and do that stuff. So let's save this and let's look how this actually looks on the actual device home page. So it doesn't really show up here uh, and if we pull to the right you'd actually see it show up in your hub as a blood test between the hours of 3 and 4 and I guess you could tap this button right here but uh, you don't really get much options but if you click on the actual details and stuff like that you'd see 15 minutes before the start and busy and all that stuff uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the actual layout of the calendar I just want to say thank you for viewing hope you guys do enjoy the comparison that I did with uh, all of my devices and uh, give this video a thumbs up ask me questions if you want uh, hit the like button I really do appreciate it when you hit the like button because that just shows me another view is that uh, it's a good video and uh, you guys are actually enjoying my content. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Agent Juicy and I'm sorry for hitting you guys with the camera but I'm out.